click the bell icon to get latest videos from Ikeda. Hello friends, so today we are here to learn about eigenvalues and eigenvectors. In this particular video, we are going to focus upon what is modal matrix and how to diagonalize a given matrix. So let us understand what is modal matrix by using the definition of similarity of matrices. When I say B and A are similar matrices, then it has to satisfy this particular equation. B is nothing but M inverse into A into M, where A and B are of same order and both are square matrices of order n by n. Now this particular matrix M is called as modal matrix. Now this particular M is responsible for converting these two matrices as similar matrices. Now if this product M inverse into A into M comes out to be diagonal matrix that is only diagonal elements are present then we say D is equal to M inverse into A into M. Now in this particular case A matrix A is already given matrix M is such that Determinant value of M is not equal to 0. So it's called non-singular matrix. Now this M is called modal matrix. As the result we are getting as diagonal matrix. Now this M is totally responsible for converting A into diagonal matrix. That is diagonalizing a given matrix A. So this was all about modal matrix and diagonalizing a particular given matrix. So we need to find out what is modal matrix. The procedure for finding modal matrix is very simple. Matrix A we take, we find out eigenvalues and eigenvectors for the same. And eigenvectors for the same. Now in order to construct this matrix M, we put all the eigenvectors column wise that is x1 in first column x2 in second column x3 in second column like that xn these column vectors we are going to put and this matrix d is nothing but all the eigenvalues which is lambda 1 lambda 2 lambda 3 up to lambda n in the diagonal element form. So all the other elements are 0. So, so after finding out eigenvalues and eigenvectors, we are going to put all the eigenvalues in the diagonal and all other elements are 0. It's called diagonal matrix which is nothing but this D and for modal matrix we are going to calculate all the eigenvectors and we are going to put it column wise x1 x2 x3 up to xn and the matrix we got is called modal matrix m so let us understand this further by using examples 2 by 2 and 3 by 3 matrix So let us understand what is modal matrix and how to diagonalize a given particular matrix A using this example. Find a modal matrix M which diagonalizes the matrix A 4, 1, 2, 3. So we are supposed to find out 
modal matrix M, which is responsible for diagonalizing this matrix A, 4, 1, 2, 3. And also verify that M inverse A into M is equal to D, where D is the diagonal matrix. So let us find out eigenvalues and eigenvectors first and then construct modal matrix M and diagonal matrix D. We start this using characteristic equation which is A minus lambda i is equal to 0. This is called the characteristic equation. Therefore, I am going to subtract lambda from all the diagonal elements that is 4 minus lambda and 3 minus lambda. is equal to 0. Therefore, we cross multiply that is 4 minus lambda into 3 minus lambda minus 1 into 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, 4 into this 3 minus lambda minus lambda into 3 minus lambda minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, 4 into 3 is 12 minus 4 lambda minus 3 lambda plus lambda square minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, we get lambda square 4 minus 3 which is minus 7 lambda and 10 minus 2 which is plus 10 is equal to 0. Now, I want product to be 10 and addition to be 7. So, two possible solutions are possible which is 5 and 2. Therefore, lambda minus 5 and lambda minus 2 is equal to 0. Therefore, lambda is equal to 2 and 5. Therefore, the eigenvalues are 2 and 5. So, let us find out what are the eigenvectors for the same. Case 1, lambda is equal to 2. Now, a minus lambda i into x is equal to o is called the characteristic equation. Now let us subtract 2 from all the diagonal elements that is 4 minus 2 is 2. So 2 1 and 2 and 3 minus 1 1. 